Don't dig a pit for others, or you will… no. In our case, dig it! Water, gold, oil, diamonds… all these treasures are within the Earth's crust, and the deeper the pit, the greater the potential wealth to possess. A man can make colossal achievements if he is motivated enough. We will tell you about the deepest well, borehole and pit, and some of them were dug with just a simple shovel. We'll start with a pit, which impresses not with its size, but its history. Everybody knows about India's caste system, and the lowest caste called untouchables. They are kind of societal outcasts. One such outcast, Bapurao Tajni, lived in a village suffering from a lack of water. So everyone had to beg a higher caste for it. One day, when Bapuro's wife and children were denied water, he took a shovel and started digging. He kept digging every day, before going to work in the morning and after work in the evening. Everybody thought he had gone crazy, but Bapuro kept digging. And in 40 days, the shovel of this stubborn Indian finally struck water. A wonderful story about the fact that you should never give up. This is the Wooding Dean Water Well, located in England and the deepest hand-dug well. In 1858, some prisoners of correctional labor colony started digging it. All excavations were carried out by hand and buckets with soil were lifted to the surface with a winch. After two years of hard work, the well was already 134 meters deep, but there was no water. It was then they decided to dig horizontal mines in four directions. However, this also didn't give the desired result. Then workers decided to keep deepening one of the mines. This took another two years. People were working 24 hours a day, digging and laying bricks in stuffy and dark tunnels. Finally, in 1862, four years after work started, they reached water. By that moment, the Wooding Dean water well was 392 meters deep, which makes it the world's deepest hand-dug well. Now imagine the efforts it takes to dig a mine by hand. We're talking about the big hole mine excavated by hand for mining diamonds without machinery. It is located in South Africa in the province of Kimberley, where a geological pipe was formed after a breakthrough of gases in the Earth's crust. This pipe, like others in the region, was named Kimberlite after the location. It has a shape of a huge carrot or a wine glass. Its upper part is a giant conical upswell, narrowing as it goes deeper, eventually becoming a vein in the end. In 1870, the diamond fever started in the city of Kimberley. About 50,000 people were mining and extracted over 20 million tons of soil with just shovels and picks. The development area was 1,829,000 square feet, or 17,000 square meters. The depth, 240 meters. From 1871 to 1914, the miners had extracted about 2,722 tons of diamonds or 14.5 million carats. That is worth $1,585,000,000 in today's estimates. This largest hand-dug mine is exhausted nowadays and has become an artificial lake, the most picturesque landmark in Kimberley. However, experts say that the development of this Kimberlite pipe in Yakutia will be carried out for at least another 30 years. The famous radiogram they transmitted about the discovery of kimberlite was coded with reference to the cultural notion of the pipe of peace. The deposit's name, mir, peace in English, comes from it. Although the deposit was developed with the latest machinery, this was in severe climactic conditions. Miners had to blast the rock with dynamite to break through the permafrost. Until 2004, diamonds were extracted in open pit mines quarry trucks wound for 8 kilometers along a spiral road from the bottom to the surface. Today, diamonds are extracted by constructing underground tunnels. The pit depth is 525 meters, the diameter 1.2 kilometers. Yakutia has another diamond extraction giant, the Udachnaya pipe, lucky pipe in English. It is the world's deepest open pit kimberlite pipe at 640 meters deep. It is also famous for breaking another world record. A stone containing over 30,000 diamonds was extracted here recently. This is a million times more than the usual concentration of diamonds. This mine has been continually developed to this day from 1863. Bingham Canyon is one of the largest and deepest open pit mines in the world. 
It is located in Utah near Salt Lake City and is 4 kilometers wide and 1,200 meters or 4,000 feet deep. This giant is one of the world's largest anthropogenic formations. About 1,400 miners are working here today, extracting up to 450,000 tons of rock every day. The ore is carried by 64 huge quarry dump trucks, each capable of transporting 230 tons of ore in one single shuttle. The Witwatersrand Basin is the world's largest gold ore deposit. It was its discovery in southern Africa that caused another gold rush. Today, one of the deepest mines for the extraction of this precious metal is the Mobe Mine in South Africa. Its depth reaches 3,132 meters. It takes almost five minutes to get to its bottom in the lift. If a man accidentally fell into the abyss, the complete fall would take half a minute to complete. The Witwatersrand Basin is also known for the deepest mine in the world. The Tautona Mine, which means the Great Lion, is 4,500 meters below sea level. The mine is so deep that the temperature at excavations is up to 52 degrees of Celsius. Four production units cool the air here, producing dry ice that is transported along the pipes to the very bottom. This lowers the temperature to a more tolerable 28 degrees Celsius. Leading Tauton specialists say there is still a lot of gold in this field, so it will therefore be continually developed for years to come. The drilling of this well unfortunately stopped due to a lack of funding. The Kola Super Deep Borehole, drilled purely for research purposes to study the deep earth. It is located in the Murmansk region, near the city of Zapolyarny. It is 12,262 meters deep. Drilling began in 1970 in honor of the 100th anniversary of the birth of Lenin. After nine years of continuous operation, the well broke the record of 9,583 meters held by the Berta Rogers oil well in Oklahoma. In another 11 years, the borehole reached a depth of 12,262 meters, or 40,229 feet. At this depth, sensors recorded a temperature of 220 degrees of Celsius. Due to the high temperatures, time-consuming process, and costly drilling, people called the Kola Superdeep, also titled the Road to Hell, as if every newly bored kilometer brought misfortune to the country. As drillers were reaching 13,000 meters, a column with a weight of 200 tons broke, and the drilling stopped. In recent years, due to financial difficulties and the lack of state support, the Kola Superdeep borehole project was closed. The borehole entry was permanently welded in 2012. And finally, the Z44 oil well in the Chavo field is the deepest pit drilled by the mankind. The deepest oil well in the world goes down to a depth of 13 kilometers. For comparison, this is equivalent to the height of 15 Burj Khalifas, the world's tallest skyscraper. A new world record was broken by the Sakhalin 1 project. A well was drilled on the shelf of an island. It is expected to produce an impressive number of barrels of oil. Thank you all for watching.